Looking for the machine to fire up? There it is. Welcome home, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. It is Friday, March 30th, 2020. It is 9.03 a.m. here in the Arizona desert. Hope everyone in New York and in uh, California are enjoying their social distancing and many other parts of the country as well. Everybody stay safe out there. All right, welcome to the Bitcoin Daily View Truth Seekers. Bitcoin up a lot recently. Actually, Ethereum, where, where'd Bitcoin go? Let's see, reload this thing. All right, so Bitcoin at 6,642, that is rocking. So a mix of green and the red in the market today, but mostly green. XRP, the banker's coin, up 3.4%, coming in at 16 cents. Ethereum up 6%, coming in at $144. The market is looking good today. On a good note, talking about sound money, gold on the daily. Check it out. Gold dumped with the current universal craziness. And in general, when investors are scared, they go to cash. When they're panicked, they go to gold. So as we know, the global panic is definitely real. Well, this white moving average here is the 200 moving average. This is a daily chart. Gold did go below that recently, and that was somewhat troubling. But look at this. Today, it is wicked above it. It is beginning to challenge that. So on the daily, at around 1,500, when... Uh, gold gets above that 200 moving average on the daily when it can close above that I think we are definitely looking good when it comes to sound money and I would expect gold to rebound like a rocket ship to Pluto Look at the Dow Jones Industrial Average MACD is still negative on the daily and so far today we have a sideways red candle not pumping not dumping Let's look at the S&P 500 All right Red candle for the S&P 500 today also. Negative MACD. Ain't pumping, ain't dumping, but it's a red candle today. So let's look at the Russell 2000 index, the small guys. All right. Well, the tangent of the MACD has turned positive. That does look good. Red candle today. Well, Russell 2000, Dow Jones Industrial Average, and the S&P all sideways. Not much movement. Mostly red. So, well, it's Friday. Things tend to slow down. At least these are not you know, lava falls. So maybe they will close without much movement today. And we'll all be waiting for Monday to see what happens. All right, volume last 24 hours, 2,000, not 2,000, volume last 24 hours, 2.9 billion, basically 2,865 million, 1 billion, 428 million of that on Binance, Coinbase, definitely showing up with 442 million of that volume. I know there's other volume that exists out there that we're not seeing, but this is just a good measurement every day to check out how things are going. It's something that we can see. So Binance, definitely where the volume is, and longs versus shorts on Binance. Let's refresh this just to make sure that we are good to go. All right, longs 52%, short 47%. That is rocking. Where the volume is and the money is on Binance, sentiment is positive. It's long. So take that, shorters. All right, on the daily. The indicator that I really wanted to note was the MACD on the daily. So Bitcoin has definitely had some sideways action on the daily recently after it dumped. Now we're seeing a slight uptrend. This is really, really rocking. We're going to start challenging that 200 moving average on the daily soon. That is cool. And one thing that will definitely get us back over that 200 moving average on the daily is this. The MACD. Look at that. We are about to cross positive on the daily MACD. A lot of Bitcoin people do trade in and out between fiat and Bitcoin on the daily MACD, some the weekly, but more I would say the daily. And I know myself, I like to trade in and out a percent of my Bitcoin HODL on the daily MACD crossovers. They're slow, they're not always perfect, but what I will say, a lot of people do it. I know the MACD is an old indicator. I know daily is a slow chart for most crypto traders, but I tell you what, there are a lot of Bitcoiners out there who are trading some of their stash from cat from fiat, you know, from cash back into Bitcoin when this sucker turns positive and some before it turns positive. So put yourself a alert in trading view. And when this crosses, have that go off and take a look. It would not surprise me upon that uh, at that upon that daily MACD cross positive, we see a bit of rocket ship to Pluto 
moon action, just like we're going to see for gold when it not only wicks over that 200 moving average, but when it gets a daily close over that 200 moving average. So for sound money like gold, for sound money like Bitcoin, we're seeing some very positive indicators where, and we are not seeing those in the traditional big indices for America. That is for sure. All right. Looking at the four hour chart. Well, Bitcoin's looking positive on the four hour chart. Something I'm really looking for is a green diamond down here to form when all the EMAs in the super guppy indicator roll green, which looks like it's definitely on the way. Star indicator is positive. Directional index is in the green. ADX is a 25 plus. We are looking good. All right. It looks like this coming week or weekend, we may get above this 200 moving average on the daily and turn green EMAs on the uh, four hour and get above the 200 moving average also. So I know that may seem like a big pump, but Bitcoin can definitely do it. And especially with this MACD about to turn positive on the daily, boom, be ready. All right, 45 minute chart, very, very immediate price action. We are green. EMAs on the super guppy indicator as noted by this green diamond. We are above the 200, the 200 moving average. We are above the 314 moving average. Directional index is strong. So our indicator is strong. We are rocking as we move into Friday. With that said, obstacles can't stop you. Weather can't stop you. Heartbreak can't stop you. Failure cannot stop you. Only you can stop you. All right, Bitcoin true seekers. This is the piece of revolution. I am glad you're here. And it looks like maybe this weekend we're going to see some rocket ship to Pluto moon action for Bitcoin and its cousin gold. You take care.